Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to show you how to use Amazon Athena. So this is the launching uh, screen of uh, page of Amazon Athena. I'll uh, now start off with the demo. And before I do that, I'll let I'll try to run my uh, Athena service on uh, Asia Pacific Mumbai region because I have had all the uh, things available over there. However, it is not required. I'm just doing it for my convenience sake. So, uh, as I said earlier in my previous lectures that uh, you just need to have your data in one of the Amazon S3 bucket. You can point Athena uh, to that bucket and you can start querying. So, it is very much similar to Presto because Athena is uh, completely based on the tool called Presto, open source tool. And uh, uh, it, it also resembles with the hive uh, with the, uh, with the hive uh, HDFS hive so anyways uh, let's see how it uh, how we can utilize this so uh, for the sake of demonstration purpose I have created a bucket called demo Athena tool I have given it a public access because I don't want any you know um, during the period of my uh, demonstration I don't want any kind of um, permission related uh, issues occurring so I've created a public uh, bucket and I have put one of the CSV files I'll uh, uh, and you can see this is the very small file of 90 KB I will show you the file also what it contains so basically it contains first name last name it's a uh, comma separated file so it has all the first name last name company name address city count, uh, county state zip all those things so if you if you look at this file uh, it is already structured file but we can also go ahead and uh, you know upload any unstructured file or semi structured file that that is not a problem at all with this tool so uh, i'm for the sake of simplicity and demonstration purpose i'm going to use this csv file so i have added this file here and now i am going back to athena now in this athena i have i'm in the mumbai region now uh, I'm going to create a table. So in order to create a table, I will point this to S3 bucket data. I can also use a glue crawler, and uh, but if for this uh, for glue crawler, you can you know uh, just go ahead set up your glue uh, glue crawler crawler on your uh, data which you have uh, kept in your S3 bucket, and then it will start cataloging the uh, information that you have and then it will give you suggestions and then based on the suggestion it will create a table so I am not getting into that uh, uh, longer path because I have a structured data in my hand so I will just make use of s3 bucket data directly so I will click here and it takes me to a different uh, uh, screen where I will use my default database which is already created if you want to create another database you can just re give a choice of your database uh, name otherwise uh, if I go back and show you I already have a default database available so here I have a data default database and that's why I'm going and creating my table in this so I'm going to write my database name which I'm using as default now I'm just table underscore Athena underscore demo now uh, here uh, we have to make sure that the way we have to specify the bucket name is going to be in this format that means s3 colon forward slash forward slash then the exact bucket or the data location so here for the simplicity I've just added my data under the bucket name demo Athena tool so if I have to take the path I will copy this and I'll go back to my Athena screen then here I will remove this HTTPS colon then I'm going to add this and I'm going to remove the name of the file because it is automatically going to take it now moving on to uh, the next screen by clicking on next I already know that it is a CSV file you can also have uh, lots of uh, options like Apache weblog TSV that is tab separated value text file with custom del delimiter so it, it will ask you let, let's say if you have putting it then it will ask you for the custom delim uh, delimiter however here I know that it is CSV file comma separated value so I'm just giving it to you maybe you if you have a JSON file or parquet file or ORC file you can select and it will ask you for the um, respective uh, options so now I'm moving on to next now here we have option of adding the column name so since I have lots of column and I have already uh, you know created these columns uh, in I have formatted these columns and how I have done that I have simply taken this and uh, you know just take a new value here and then just you know 
nothing like just it's very simple so so this is how i have done it and i just uh, named it like what would be the data type so i am going to take my already created column values and now i am going back to my screen here i have option of either adding manually or i can bulk add the column so i'll click on this and i will and see here it says id space data type comma another uh, you know name of the column and then the data type so what i'm going to do i'm going to paste it over here now you see it's name of the column then the data type then comma the last one will not have a comma and i'm going to add it here now you have to check if all the you know columns are correctly filled in now you can click on to next and then we come on to a screen where it asks you to do the partitioning of your columns now my data is a very small data set like 90 kb but uh, here we are talking about you know huge data set maybe you know 2 gb or 3 gb or maybe more than that so in that scenario you have to figure out for the performance sake that how do you want to partition your columns or how do you want to partition your data and uh, this is this is where this partitioning screen, screen comes into picture you can actually go ahead and add the partitioning and it will ask you like which column you want to partition and all that stuff so i'm not going to do that i'm going to skip that portion for the sake of simplicity because and uh, for the mat matter of fact that i have very small amount of uh, you know data file i'm just going to uh, create table and here it will go and execute the query now see here it says running query and it will or it should create the table in the meantime i will pause the video once that query comes up so the query is oh, completed successfully and if we have to go back and see the fields here we have the field names you can see and let's say if you want to run a select it will be select star from table underscore athena underscore demo and you got it so you have all the fields now it depends like what exactly you want to do it's a and csql uh, and uh, similarly you can create your views as well so entirely depends like how what exactly you want to query how you want to query because it supports ncsql and uh, it's very easy to use so hope this lecture lecture was useful for you all of you and if in case if you want me to you know create some more demo videos which i am anyways going to do but in case if you want to uh, want me to create any specific demo videos please let me know i will do it uh, those first and uh, hope uh, it will be helpful for you thanks for watching